Yo, what to do with your boy Lou here coming through with another GTA 5 glitch tutorial. In this video, I got a really good glitch on how to transfer liveries, secret hidden liveries, Yankton plays green tent and all that using your magic slot absolutely solo. All right, so it's a really good glitch. Just go ahead and pay attention. You'll be able to hit it 100%. So as you can see, I destroyed my magic slot. That magic slot was inside my MOC, okay? So uh, I'm gonna request my MOC. And this is gonna take place at the auto shop, okay? Inside your auto shop, make sure it is full of vehicles. Make sure you um, can get the full alert that you got the auto shop full, okay? After you got that full, you're gonna be pulling up with the car, you're gonna be transferring the liveries too, okay? So if you don't like this livery that you got, go ahead and pull up to the auto shop with it, all right? So after you pull up with it, you're gonna get a full alert, just like that, make sure you back out. And if it gives you another alert, uh, make sure you just do it over or it's not gonna work okay as you can see i got my outfit glitched out my scuba tank outfit already ready so i could drop these scuba tanks if you don't know how to drop these scuba tanks just comment down below i'll be uh, gladly to help you all out on that so as you can see we open both doors on the car we're going to be transferring the liveries to just go ahead and open both doors drop tanks like this all right on each door and we're gonna be blocking both doors so we can get a good teleportation in, okay? It's real simple, real easy. Just go ahead and follow these steps. Just like that, just go ahead and drop a couple tanks, about five or, you know, around eight. And if you got a four door vehicle, just go ahead and block four doors. Now we're gonna stand by the exit trailer sign right here. Once you get that sign on the top left corner, and you know you can teleport in because you tested it. I didn't test it because I already know I'm going to teleport in. Once you get that exit trailer sign on the top left corner, press Y and A at the same time, you should teleport inside the car and you should exit the trailer at the same time. If you do everything correctly, your plate should transfer to the plate that you first had on your magic slot, okay? Now go ahead and pull up to your MOC just like this. This time we're going to press right on D-pad. It is not going to suck like suck you into the MOC. All you got to do is press around right D-pad once. Now this is our magic slot, okay? We're going to be working with this card now. So pull it out of the MOC after you went ahead and saved it inside your MOC. Exit the MOC and now we're going to blow this car up, okay? So just like that. Blow it up if you want to, you know, register as a CEO. And we call it bribe the authorities or you could call Lester, turn blind eye on because we are by the cop station or where at least my auto shop is so i bribed the authority so i wouldn't get no cops now i blew my magic slot up okay after this you're gonna call a car with a different livery um, it's up to you what livery you want to transfer for me i'm gonna use a livery that is on an Arden because i think it falls into the same set as this um weaponized tampa that i was using okay so if it doesn't fall into the same category same set uh, it's going to give you a different type of livery okay uh, a good card to use to transfer liveries is a vagrant and another one you could use is a hot ring saber okay the hot ring saber could give you a lot of hidden liveries it's got a long list of liveries um, you could just look it up on google or something i don't got the full list for you but you could try to look up the the list all right and you could tell which one applies to which set and which livery is going to end up giving you okay so you can use the hot ring saver on a lot of vehicles like the new vehicles to get a lot of unreleased um, liveries that you cannot get by just purchasing them at the you know at the shop okay so i can see i got a hot ring saver right here but it's not modded i think it's just a regular one and i haven't unlocked the the liveries you unlock them by doing all these hot ring saber races which i haven't done yet which i should do but i have so i'm just going to be calling um any car that falls into the same set category so like i said i ended up calling an ardent which was in a uh, facility i think yeah just call up a car that you're going to be transferring the livery from if it falls into the same set then everything will transfer the same the wheels delivery if it has green tent it's going to transfer over the yankton play is going to transfer over all that good stuff all right if it has a modded horn it will transfer over all of that good stuff so as you can see i got this arden i'm going to be transferring this livery onto the um 
weaponized Tampa that had that money livery or here that dollar dollar livery. What we're gonna do, pull up to the auto shop, you get that alert. Make sure you don't get two alerts like this. Make sure it's just one alert, reverse, and we're good to go, okay? If you get just one alert and you're reverse, you're good to go. Pull up to the MOC. It should suck you into the MOC just like this. You're gonna be put in a black screen. Once you're in a black screen, just go ahead and hit your Xbox button or your PSM button or your PlayStation button, whatever you call it on PlayStation, and it should bring you inside the MOC. Now we're gonna be doing this one more time, all right? We're gonna be opening the doors and we're gonna be dropping these scuba tanks by the doors, all right? So it's real simple. From here, just go CEO style, management, CEO style, click from left to right to drop these scuba tanks or in your MC thing, same thing. MC style, click from none to the other one, okay? To the other styles that they give you in the CEO or MC style. Just like that, I already dropped about five or six over there. I'm gonna drop about five or six over here. Make sure I got good teleportation. You can test it by going to the back of your MOC and pressing Y. And if you teleport, then you're good to go. All right, so stand by the back, get that uh, exit trader on the top left, hit Y and A at the same time. You should teleport in and you should exit with this vehicle, okay? Now right here, this is a little trick right here. You have to have a good timing. Just go ahead and line up your car your MOC okay and we're gonna press right on d-pad when you press right on d-pad already have your settings open okay so before you do this go to your settings on your Xbox or your PlayStation go to your network settings and on Xbox I clicked go offline okay so I press right on d-pad and I quickly quickly went to the settings went to the uh, network settings and then I click go offline click the GTA app and I click go back online it should kick you to story mode after it kicks you to story mode just go ahead and launch another invite only session and like I said you could do this 100% solo so that is what makes it a really good glitch you could get a lot of stuff going using this magic slot and as you can see right there boom we got a brand new looking like a brand new modded vehicle we got all that new livery from that other artist we got the wheels from the artist we got the green tint from the art and I don't even think the other weaponized Tampa had the green tint um, all that good stuff okay so from here all you got to do is either duplicate it so you won't lose this copy because magic slots do revert back to stock or you can give it to a friend and they can give it back to you but I would recommend you just duplicating it again just like we did right now using the scuba tanks and your auto shop okay because because this is a Basically, a car duplication glitch. We're duplicating it just using your magic slot twice, okay? But if you like this video, make sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. I'm almost 7,000 subscribers. I just need 10 more. Let's get it. Peace.